Welcome to episode one of Building Geraldine, the Thin Line Kooky Strat. <clears throat> so, what we have here is stripped down Squire that I got at a second hand shop. She's really thin. I've already taken the pickup, uh, the, the pickup guard off with all the electronics. I'm going to leave the original bridge. Probably going to leave the nut. I'm going to fill the holes where the string trees were because I got lock and tuners for this sucker, which we're going to unbox right now. What do we have here? Okay, Fender Genuine Parts. Ah, I like it. Free online lessons. No crap. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that. Fender brand tune and heads. <laughs> well, let's see how they go. Oh my goodness. Now, folks, I've had these for about a week or more. But... I didn't want to do the unboxing without you. I didn't want to do it by myself. Now something about the Squire here is that when I took tuning heads off I noticed it's got the two little divot holes. So that's how they did the um, the tuning keys uh, that came with it, the stock ones. So when I bought the uh, Fender locking keys I got them staggered in height so we don't need the string tree anymore. I wondered if I'd have to do the old toothpick trick and fill in these holes and drill new holes, dudley doo doo. And lo and behold, I just pulled it off and guess what? They got the two little divots. I wonder if it's the same two little divots. Could it be? A miracle. A miracle. Slide it over. Uh oh. It didn't just pop in. Okay, let me have a look here. Uh, two little divots in the same spot. Never mind. <sighs> Celebration cancelled. The two little holes are not quite in the right spot. Shoot. So, we're going to have to do the toothpick trick. Anyway. That's what they're going to look like. Man, are they going to be sharp. Fender, 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 Fender. Square. So, I'm going to put these back in the box because we're going to have to need to do the old toothpick trick on the back. Where, By the way, what's a toothpick trick? I take toothpicks, I dip them in wood glue, I stick them in a hole, I break them off, I try to stick more in there, I break it off, then I clip it close, and then I sand it all down, and then the wood is filled. I think I ran toothpicks on the uh, first guitar build I did. Okay, so that was that. Now, um, what's my plan for this sucker, you might ask? Glad you asked. Of course, I'm hooked on making my own pick guards now. So, I made this pick guard for this guitar. I'm still considering what kind of finish I want to do with this. <clears throat> But the reason I took off the stock pick guard is because I want to do some experiments with some extra single coil pickups that I have lying around. I have a bunch of pickups from the Squire, from the Starcaster, from the Solo guitar build, and a bunch of old pickups from guitars that I don't even remember where I took them apart from 20 years ago. So I'm going to try to pick some freaky combinations of pickups and I have my own pick guard so that I can customize it and put as many knobs and clippy switches as I want. Given the limitations of the body hollow. I'm not going to hollow this, route this out anymore to make room for all my fancy switches. But I basically I want to try selecting which single coil, humbucking options, phase changing, 
uh, blending options. I'm going to try some freaky wiring ideas that I have. And this is going to be my test platform, Geraldine. And when we're finished, Geraldine's going to be a honey of a shredding machine. It's going to be a chunky mofo, Geraldine. All right, so there you go. Um, I'm going to start working on the pickup selection. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know what to look for in the pickups. I have no experience in this. I might end up doing many different configurations before I find the right pickup combination that I like for the best tone. Okay, episode one. Geraldine, just getting started. Bum, beer, bum, beer, bum. Beer, boom, beer, beer, now, 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 beer, now, 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 yeah, rock on. Holy Crow Magnum Man, it's alive, it's alive. Behold, my latest creation. <laughs> Folks, I do not want to seem overly alarming. But number three, three times a charm, my last project, my last and latest project, is, I can't even describe it in words. I am so happy how this turned out, and um, I'm so excited to share this with you. I want you to meet, without any further ado, Geraldine! It's Geraldine. She is a freaking monster. You must understand that this was an experiment. I did not know how it would turn out. Yes, there were some very big challenges. But in the end, it was so worth it. <laughs> this guitar is a freak. Don't you wish your girlfriend was a guitar like this? Oh my god. Meet Geraldine. What do we have here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's full of stars. Oh my god. It's full of stars. <laughs> What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Folks, there were some challenging things to this build. I got locking tuners for Geraldine, and I am no good at drilling holes. I had to do the toothpick trick about four times on the back. I couldn't get the holes right for the tuning keys. There's two little holes. Uh, I need to learn how to do measurements and use a pencil and a ruler, I think, and go real slow with the drill. They're not exactly straight. Uh, one or two is a little off, but it's functional. Nice locking tuner keys. I had to put uh, one of the string trees back because the high E kept popping out. But let's have a little look ski down here. What happened here? What happened here? Oh my God! Look at that! What is that? Oh my goodness. So I made the pick guard out of wood. You know that process. Started off as that uh, made in China laminate. I stained it a couple times, blah, blah, but then I went with the black. What we have here is a experimental platform that I uh, created. And um, I figured out a wiring scheme that I wanted to try based on how you wire a volume pot and how you wire a tone pot. That's basically, I just uh, combined those two theories. You'll notice there's no five position switch on here. There's no slider. But all the uh, design is ergonomically in the same spot as a traditional Stratocaster. But what we have here is exceptionally strange and unique. 
along with these toggles and these three four pots. Should I get into detail here? Are you ready? Or do you want to hear this freaking monster? Oh my god! Oh my god! I love this thing! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Some of you might be saying, Guy, you mad genius, what have you done this time? I know I am. The question raised by so many people online is, can you take two old single coil pickups and turn them into a de facto humbucker? Traditionally, a Stratocaster has three single coil pickups, neck, middle, bridge. You can never combine the neck and the bridge, but you can do any other combination of pickups. This is what gives Stratocaster its classic twangy sound. For example, in position two, where you combine the bridge and the middle, it's a classic signature Strat sound that cannot be duplicated by a guitar like a Telecaster or a Les Paul. But a Les Paul has a humbucker in the bridge position and a humbucker in the net position. And you can combine the two pickups, which you can't do on a Strat. So therefore, a Les Paul has a signature sound that cannot be duplicated by a Stratocaster and vice versa. Then you have a Telecaster guitar. A Telecaster usually has a single coil up here and a humbucker down here. Sometimes two single coils or two hot rails. That particular signature sound from a Telecaster can also not be duplicated by a Stratocaster or a Les Paul. So you have three guitars that are classic signature guitars that each have their own unique sounds that can't be duplicated by the other guitar. Behold Geraldine! the guitar that does it all. This experimental platform was designed with the idea of creating the tone landscape of a traditional Stratocaster, Telecaster, and Les Paul, all on one platform. <laughs> People say, Guy, you brilliant imbecile, how can you possibly do this? This guitar doesn't even have a five-way position switch. How do you select the pickups? What are these switches for? <laughs> What's this extra dial over here? <laughs> All maintaining the aesthetics or, or, or not going outside the traditional area of where the control system is for a Stratocaster, we have so many different, actually infinite combinations of pickup tones available on this palette. This is not even a guitar anymore. This is a tone palette at your disposal. There are infinite amounts of tones that can be dialed up here. Infinite amount of tone! Let me show you what I've done. Hey, buddy. It's important that you don't believe everything that you read on the internet and you do your own experimentation. Right, Tigger? What a good boy. I read a lot on the internet about how you cannot uh, combine two single coils to make a de facto humbucker. But that's exactly what I've done here. Um, you learn so much doing it by, for yourself. Now most uh, Stratocaster uh, combinations come with three pickups. The middle one is the reverse polarity of the neck and the bridge. This is so that when you select uh, these two or these two, the background noise cancels out. So that's why you'll notice on a Strat, position two and position four are much uh, noise less noisy than positions one three and five so if you were going to combine your own single coils to make a humbucker what you would want to do is take a middle single coil and one of the neck or bridge ones and pay, put them together so that you have north pole going this way and south pole going uh, the same way for the other so they're opposed magnetically so what I've done here is I've selected two single coils from the old, uh, the original Squire, actually, the original Squire pickups. Two pickups I found that are ancient, and I have no idea where they came from. Maybe a Squire from the 80s or something like that. And this middle pickup I used from Buddy's old Ibanez from, again, like 30 years ago. Uh, the reason I use this for the middle pickup is that the Ibanez uh, had a tap in it. So it's, a, it's actually a humbucker. It's two coils stacked on top of each other. So um, 
this was the only single coil I had on hand that had the ability to be tapped. So that means that you can take one of the single coils out of here and, and de-humbuck it. So these five pickups are arranged north, south, no, that's not right. South, north, south, north, south. I believe that's how it goes. Um, no, that's not it. North, south, north, south, north. And um, so these switches, let's, let's talk about these toggle switches. In this position, each pickup is in uh, tap mode or single coil mode. So this selects um, either this single coil pickup or both as a humbucker. This uh, selects this guy, tap or humbucker, and this selects this pickup or humbucker configuration. Okay, so far so good. What we have here is three black knobs that are all volume. Volume for the neck, volume for the middle, volume for the bridge. Each pickup has its own fader. So you can mix the signals in an infinite manner of ways. You could have a little bit of neck, a little bit of bridge, very, very tiny, tapped middle, you could humbuck the neck, and single coil bridge, vice versa. You could humbuck it up. You can make a Les Paul sound. You can make a Telly sound. You can make a Strat sound. And this little hidden dial here is master tone. One tone to rule them all. And there you have it. Geraldine, a veritable infinite palette of tones at your fingertips. This is a blues screamer. Geraldine is a one-of-a-kind guitar that has any tone you could possibly imagine. Because Geraldine's a thin line and she's got this tone at her disposal, I figured she needs to be a little bit of a buttery shredder. So I put tens on here. I I never been that light before, but I put a set of tens on here. And um, what can I tell you? This thing's incredible. I love it. The truss rod needs a little bit of adjustment, and I haven't done the intonation yet. But <laughs> you check this thing out. It's alive! It's alive! Digger, it's alive! It's alive! Yeah. <laughs>
Listen to this feedback machine.